Hey everybody, thanks for joining me. This is my second episode for the cider review. I've got three ciders that I wanted to go through that I had uh, tasted, picked up in uh, British Columbia at a liquor store. None of these uh, cider companies have paid me to say anything or given me any of these for free. So uh, I'm gonna tell you what I think about them. First one that I have here is the Summerland Heritage Cider Company. Of course, Summerland, BC. Everybody probably knows that area. It's a well-known area for wine growing and so on. But of course, uh, there are some places like Summerland Heritage Cider Company that's making this uh, dry. Um, it's 100% a, it's a heritage apples and it's 7.7% alcohol. I found it have flavors of pear, herbs, lime, dry fruit. And uh, I tried this out with chicken wings, spicy chicken wings, and it uh, worked really well. And so there's a suggestion to have it with. Second cider coming up is from Upside Cider, and they're out of Kelowna. They had their late harvest semi-sweet, 7% uh, alcohol. It was a full body, crisp, uh, honey notes on there. I found it was easy drinking on its own. Maybe um, you know could have some chips and dip that would go well with it as well. So that's a that's another one to check out. And they're an organic uh, as well, producing organic uh, ciders from from Kelowna. The Woodward Cider Company, they're out of Kamloops, 7% uh, alcohol on the Send It. Uh, it's a raspberry infused cider. And I like this one. I picked it up because my daughter's a big mountain biker and, and, and you know, that's what she always says, send it as she's going off uh, some jumps. So I thought this would be a good one. And uh, has fresh apples, uh, berry, um, and it's a rose color. Uh, it's a great sipper and I probably have this with some uh, light cheese and crackers. And there you go, three ciders that I've tried. Uh, and I think out of the three, I would probably say the uh, Woodward cider was my favorite out of those three. Uh, again, they're all great ciders. Uh, if you want to check them out, they can be found probably in British Columbia. Some might be able, you might be able to find some here in Alberta as well. Um, anyhow, thanks for joining me and stay tuned for more episodes on Alberta Foodie.